This is one of the ways I love to de-stress you all. I like to piddle. Piddle with vehicles, mechanics, auto mechanics, you all. And you may find that you like to do that too, you all. So um, I got this right here from my niece. Um, it wasn't running too well. So I said, you know, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. I will. And I'll piddle with it because I've got one just like it, you all. It's a 03 Jeep is what it is. Hello. And I've got an 04 Jeep. They have the same engines and stuff. And I thought, if anything, I could use this for all the spare parts. Although I'd have to park it out of sight, out of mind, you all. But I'm, I'm down here piddling with this engine. I am. And she ran into a deer also. But that's okay, you all. I, I like it. I really do. Really, this is, this is Gina. This is another Gina on the inside right here. Work on engines like that. Let me, let me see if I can flip it around, you all. Let me try to... Um, Flip this around. Let me let me do this right here. Okay, there's me. Okay, I'm flipping it around. So um, I just been wiping it down, you all. And this is the area where she like ran into a deer, or the deer ran into her. I've just been piddling. Oopsie! There went that piece down there. Um, somewhere down there, you all. I shouldn't have touched it, but I touched it. You see this got broke. The fender was hanging off too. So uh, I was able to push the fender back on and reinforce it with, put some more um, nuts and bolts in it. I got lots of stuff. This is like cheapo stuff, you all. But yeah, I like to work on cars. I really do. And uh, you can see this got full new fuel injectors in there. My brother had put them in there too. But yeah, I said, yeah, I'll take it off your hands, you all. And I, I, I like it. I love it. I like messing with engines. I'm, I'm trying to, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to rig this to where this pulls back up. Hello. Yes, hello, everyone. I'm going to rig it to where it pulls back up. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get this back to where it needs to be. But this is really, it really does help me de-stress and um, focus on things it does. Let me flip it back around to Gina. Hello. <laughs> Hello, let me get this bright light out of my eye. Let me see if I can turn it. I, I can, I, let me turn it off. Let me push the button on it. Okay, that's a lot better. I got it out of my eye, you all. So, um, yes, you all just tuning in. Um, Jeremy, it's good to meet you, no. Um, hello, Naruka. Hello, you all. You're feeling it today. Yeah, hello, Michelle Stone. So if y'all don't see me on here, this is what I'm doing. I'm down in the basement. My husband came down here. I said, what are you doing down here? This is my space right here. He said, I've got to get me an orange. I said, okay, go on. But go back upstairs, even though he's supposed to be working. Yes, I'm doing good. Um, World Weather Authority. I'm doing great. What's happening with this engine also, you all. If let me... Um, no. Let me just say, I'm going to, I'm going to work on it. <laughs> I'm going to work on that, you all. I'm going to work on that engine. Um, but I'm waiting for the weather to get nice so I can back the vehicle out of the garage. Because when you start the vehicle in this garage, it's, it, the fumes are so strong. And I don't like strong fumes. Um, how's the weather, Gina? Gina, honey, hasn't really went outside. Um... I, I like Joseph, honey. I really do. I love I'm working on cars. And here's what this is really neat, too, you all. Let me see if I can, like, cover up my... Out, let me try to cover up my one camera. Because I didn't want to show the mess in my garage. So I could not... You all, let me show you this. That's me. So I couldn't jack this up far enough. <laughs> I really couldn't. So I took an old can of sliced carrots to push up only under this thing right here. And it worked. It lifted it up enough... For me to get some uh, needle point channel locks on here, you all. I know this is kind of hillbilly, but yeah, this is, um, that's what I, I will do. And you see it made a little dent, but I don't care. It's just a can of carrots. I was thinking, what on earth can I push up in there to just push this up just a tad bit? That's what I wanted to know. So I could put these um, needle nose uh, channel locks on there. They got, see this car, along, the tires itself are, you know... I can use these on my Jeep because it's the same Jeep. The same bolt pattern and stuff. You, I've got that off there too. 
yeah so there's a lot of parts i can use if you <laughs> think about it the only thing's different on this jeep right here you are this is this is auto mechanics with gina honey this is one of my hobbies mine don't have this on here at least i don't think it does and um it mine has a different breather assembly on it too than this one and um my power steering my power steering um, reservoir, it doesn't have this right here in the way of it either. Oopsie. So, um, but this is all the same. And the ABS module down there, that, that's the same too. So, it has a lot of same components. Hello, Naruka. Thank you. It has a lot of same components, you are, but really, I do. I like working on engines. I do just to piddle it. And if I if I got really brave enough, I would strip down the whole engine. But then you would not see very many videos from me because I'd be uh, I would get myself obsessed with this. I would once I start, it's hard to stop. And I'm just being honest, you all. It's extremely hard for me to stop once I mess on a vehicle. But it's all right. I like it. I love it. Let me flip it over here. Let me flip this back to me. So, um, hello. Your greatest apologies of not being on your channel, but I do hit the like button. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, Naruka. Like buttons are nice. It really is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right, Naruka. Um, sometimes, you know, we just don't got time or sometimes, you know, we change interests and that's okay too. Has anybody felt dizzy? I, I'm sure a lot of people have been feeling a little bit dizzy. And, um, yeah, a little bit busy, you are. This is not a UFO video. It isn't. I, I am shadow banned based on what I share. Um, I probably kind of get shadow banned on this, too, because that does not fit with my overall pattern of the channel. Really, I'm all over the place. I am. <laughs> Oh, make bricks a little safer, Gina. Not sure about the can. Joseph, honey, uh, th this, this can was perfectly fine for this uh, piece of plastic. That's all I was lifting up, the piece of plastic. I could not physically hold the piece of plastic and screw in a boat and a nut at the same time. So there's no way I would even do that. Besides, um, you know what I got down here? I got a massive floor jack right here. If I need to use it, I use my floor jack. This is what I would use to, if I want to do some serious lifting, I would do this. And then I would, um, after I did that, then I would, I would put my car jacks. I got four car jacks I would put under my vehicle. Then I'd put blocks under the front wheel or the back wheel or all four wheels. Okay, I would do that. Uh, because I'm not going to crawl under a vehicle, even with that and the jacks. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances. That's right. I'm not. Um, hello. Um, you are, I do have a, I do, I think I have a DIY, a do-it-yourself video, where I replaced all, the whole entire brake assembly on my other Jeep, my, my Jeep. Because someone, when I took it to somewhere to get it serviced, they poured transmission fluid in my brake fluid. They destroyed the whole entire brake system, and they said it's going to cost me $4,000. And I said, tow it back to my house. And then um, I did it all myself. I, I flushed out all the lines. And the lines that needed to replace, I replaced them. I replaced the calipers, the, the brake pads, the rotors, um... I replaced the power, not the power, the um, ABS module, and I replaced the master cylinder too, and I bled the brakes myself. So I saved myself a lot of money and ended up only costing me around almost $300 and, and a little bit of my time. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Gina's, I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl. <laughs> I have worked on cars my whole life, more or less, since I was a teenager. Yeah. Um, thank you, Jamie, honey. Yeah, you are. So that's, um, I'm just here piddling around with this vehicle down here, just 
de-stressing. Um, it helps me kind of clear my mind and just do it in the total silence, you all. Just me and an engine is what it is. And it's okay. It really is. Mm. I don't know if I want to go outside because um, I don't rightly know what the um, weather is like out there. They don't want to go out, but that's all right, you all. That is quite all right. Let me flip this back around to me. Um, do we got some people just um, tuning in? Because um, I'm sure we probably do. Uh, yeah. Um, you all have, you know that video, the, are you feeling it? And what is happening? There is something happening. And I read and I saw how the Earth's magnetic field, it does play a role also. And I'm going to, I'm going to do a video later. If it's meant, and I'm going to talk about a certain subject, um, but it has to do with all of this. And it's not a taboo sur subject either. Did you ever read that um, when you're sleeping, you should never sleep with your head toward the north? Because that's your head is like the pole. You're, you're, you're setting your head toward the um, north. You shouldn't do that. I saw in the Sanskrit writings and uh, ancient, I don't know, Indo, Indonesia, India, you should have your head facing probably south the opposite so that you can allow the energy to flow more freely. And I mean, you could, um, I guess, lay east to west, but the energy is still going to be flowing somewhat. But then, then I got to thinking, I said, well, then, well, what about all this magnetic interference with the magnetosphere? What, what about that? Because there's all, there's man-made magnetos, uh, electromagnetic fields. And I'm, I'm not knowing how they are interacting with our like magnetic north and stuff like that. I'm sure it's like creating pooling all over the place, you all. But I did read that. You shouldn't sleep with your head toward the north, you all. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, look it up. Which direction, y'all, you can look this up and read up, read up, read up on it. Which way should I, my head be facing when I go to sleep? Which way? Um, because people arrange their bedrooms like that if they have to sleep or something. They do. My lips are chapped. You, um, yeah, you, I, I'm going to do a video later. I am. After I get through just chilling in the garage with this Jeep. That's right. You actually face west when you sleep. Yeah, look that up, you all. Which way? Should I be facing? Because the NCIB has done studies on it too. There's been lots and lots of studies done on it. Um, you're all right with North. Uh, Marie McDonald, all around you put foot cream on them. Our heads are East and West. Um, yeah. So um, I'm just out here, you all, piddling with this vehicle and I'm not getting sleepy. I'm not getting sleepy. They say that, you know, when you, you, you have like a job or something or you need to take a break, do something totally different so you can give your mind a chance to, you know, I don't know, get, get right again, get settled or something, refresh your mind so you don't wear your mind out on one particular subject. Just go to a totally different subject is uh, what you could do. So yeah, I've just, been, I've just been doing very simple things today on here. And I ain't been down here long at all. Maybe a couple hours piddling is wiping down this engine a little bit, you all. So yeah, fires right up and all of that. So um, yeah. Greetings, Holly Ingle. People sleep with magnets under their bed. I, oh, I haven't heard of that one. Um, you've prob you've heard of people sleeping with magnets under their bed. Oh, that's really interesting. That that right there is interesting, you all. Um, 
you make your mind blank and you don't even think. Um, I used to do that a lot. And I remember when I was a little girl, I don't even know why I would think this, but when I was a little girl, I would say to myself, if someone ever thinks they're going to get in my mind and read my mind, I'm not going to let them. In fact, I told myself, I will, I'll just sing a song in my mind while I'm thinking about something else. And then when they try to read my mind, they're not going to, they're not even going to be able to get into my mind because I'm going to have different layers. That's what I said when I was a little girl. No, I'm not going to, I don't even know why I would think about, now I got a high pitch frequency right here in this ear. I don't even know why I would think about somebody trying to read my mind when I was a little girl, but I, I would, I can blank my mind completely out too with, I can just like totally blank it out. I would practice doing it too. Just blank my mind. Do you think you're going to read my mind? I'm going to blank my mind, but they have technology nowadays. They do. And they're going to, you ever hear of that thought, the thought police, they're going to get you for premeditated thing because they'll have the technology one day and it's coming to reconstruct your thoughts in your mind. And um, even though you didn't do nothing, they will reconstruct it and they'll put, put it out there. And then you're going to get yourself in trouble if your thoughts have not been in the right place. You are. They really will do that. They, they have the technology and they're going to roll it out. I mean, I think that has something to do with the thing they put in your head, you know, with the little teeny um, hair-like things thinner than hair and right on top of your cranium. That's right. Um, yes, we got to cover your mind, guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your thoughts, hold each thought captive. You really got to be careful what type of thoughts you allow to get into your mind too. Don't entertain certain thoughts you are because the more you entertain certain thoughts, and the more those thoughts are going to start feeling comfortable in your mind if they're not good thoughts. And then they're going to take up residency. And then if you ever had the reconstructing of your thoughts from AI, then you're going to find yourself in trouble, especially if you've been thinking about things you should not have been thinking about in this world. That's right, you all. Yes, block, block, block. That's right. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just out here looking, um, piddling. Uh, well, I think it was on Christmas. It was Christmas. It was on Christmas. I just um, I just spent three or four hours down here just cleaning out the whole inside of this vehicle. And then um, I vacuumed it out. And then I took um, clean. I just, I just cleaned up everything. Cleaned up all the interior and stuff. And I did was messing around with this back of it right here. And the window wouldn't shut you all at all. This window. When I got it from from my um, nephew, the window wouldn't shut at all. And I thought, well, why isn't that window shutting? So what you do is you take this off right here. And it has 13 millimeter screws. I know it's kind of dark. 13 millimeter uh, uh, head, hex heads, or not hex head, heads right here socket heads and then you just loosen that and just move this thing forward and then if you have a glass then you it, it closes again you all that's how that works that's that's why I, I did I messed with that too that that only took five minutes you all is all it took so it was um it's fine this has a better body than mine at the bottom mine's got rust all on it um is what mine has y'all let me just show you my mine outside but it is I if I can do this as a um I could even use it as a spare vehicle if I had to, but um, I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to unlock this door. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know what's out here. Haven't been outside. I'm going to look. Oh, this looks lovely out here. It really is wild. My hair is wild too. Um, this is what it looks like. It's still snowy. There's my husband's tires I got off of Facebook, you all. Uh, what did I pay for these? I think I, did I say I paid 250 or $300 for these tires? He had a smaller tire on his Jeep um, over here. And um, this is, was his tires. He was needing new tires. So I thought I can get the tires. And um, I did, and I got the original size. So he was really happy. They work really good for him. This is his original size. If you got a Jeep, you all, um, well, 
7517. That's what they are. Yeah, we can do it. See, look at my Jeep. This is my Jeep. I love it right here, but it's got rust all under it. Um, that's okay, y'all. I took some old license plates and I turned them upside down and I, um, feel, I got all the rust off and stuff and I filled that in and I just molded them on there. I should not be out here with, um, my shoes are getting snow in them, y'all, but this is what it looked like out here. You can see it just like that. The sky is white <clears throat> is what it is. Total white, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so, um, that's what's going on. I'm down here in the basement. And, um, that's why you ain't heard from me too much. I haven't been up on the computer. Um, oh, you're so welcome. Happy feet. Happy feet, gal. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um... You ever look into your vehicle, like one of our vehicles, like my daughter's vehicle, when I opened up her gas cap where it wasn't driven, she had wasp mud dauber nests in it. That's what she had. So yeah, you all, this is, um, this is my project and it's a four wheel drive. So, um, just been playing, playing down here and piddling. That's what Gina honey's been doing, playing and Piddling. Whose sky is blue? Is your all sky blue? Um, yeah, it gets covered by spraying. You had spiders in yours? Oh, now all my feet got a little um, wet. It's okay. They can get wet. Um, Brucey's all in Canada. Yeah. What if the sky... Never go back to blue. Danny Lovett, you know, um, back in um, the 2000, mid-2000s, when we got out of the military and moved back here, the sky was white continually. And I thought, oh, my gosh, will we ever see a blue sky again? It was for years. It seemed like it was rare to see a blue sky. It was always white. Um, when the sky gets like that, you would worry. Yeah. Um that's right. I got to remember what I'm going to focus on if it's meant uh, when I get on my big computer up there, you all. Southern Virginia is sunny and warm. Wow, that's exciting. Um, yeah, psychedelic. So um, if you're all just tuning in, you're driving a 97 Ford truck. You refuse to go older than a 2001 uh, OnStar GPS tracker. Nope, holding out. Um... Yes, uh, some, somewhere in time. Uh, that's a pretty uh, appropriate uh, YouTube name. It is. I don't blame you. I would rather have an older vehicle than a brand new vehicle because even my husband's Jeep, um, he's got where you, um, you push the button. And um, even though, say, I get in the Jeep, it, it recognizes my body weight so I can push the button. My husband can push the button, even with the keys. But when I asked my son if he could move his dad's Jeep, he got in the Jeep. It wouldn't start. It wouldn't do nothing. It didn't, rec it didn't, it didn't recognize his body weight. I think they got sensors in them, too. And when you come to a stop, if you don't put your vehicle into neutral, your car automatically shuts off. And then uh, when it's time for you to go, then it turns on. So they have control. Hello, Susan B. They have control over your cars. They can shut them off anytime you want. They want, um, yeah. With those, um, things. So older vehicles, they're nice. I think that's, uh, what they tried to get off the road when they had, if you have an old vehicle, we'll give you a thousand dollars. Uh, regarding re regardless if your vehicle runs or not that remember that program they wanted to get as many vehicles off the road as possible yeah they put a lot um yeah they put a lot in that you all so yeah um do you all like working on vehicles i know there's women who like working on vehicles and guys 
Some women may like working on vehicles more than the guys. They really may. Um, I'm just saying they just might. I wonder if this has a pulley tensioner. Okay, yeah, this has a pulley tensioner right there, just like mine. So you can get off this um, belt. So that's cool. You all just take a great big socket wrench with great big old ratchet. Uh, ooh, they're trying to get fuzzy on me. Get a ratchet and you can replace your own belt. You can literally replace your own belt in your own vehicle for five in five minutes, you all. Just go buy it and pull that pulley tensioner back. And you can just you even have a diagram on how to reroute, how to route your belt. See, that's it. It's that simple. It's so simple, you all. There's so much stuff that you can do yourself where you don't have to go and um, take it to, you better get self-reliant if you haven't, or you might be in the process of getting self-reliant, being able to do things on your own without having to take it to a shop and stuff. Uh, it's really good. It is. Um, thank you, Azangle. Um, they were sending a lot of small foreign odor cars to Africa. Oh, wow, that's interesting. There really is. You smash the like button. If I could smash it, I would smash it, but I'm not. What are, what are these buttons on here for? Let me push it. Oh, I can. What's this? I can. Did my, did my color on my face change? I'm pushing these buttons. I got some, a beam. Um, they got these filters on here, you all. Look at that. Are you all seeing that on there? I just now noticed this. Can you see bubbles running around me? Um, that is so strange. I thought, what are these things for? And I, now I'm in black and white. Did you know that you had this? Wow. I, Lucky Stone 888 Well, I'm on YouTube Creator Studio. And they have this thing that looks like a sparkler down at the bottom toolbar. And um, I thought, what is that for? And I, I thought, well, what if I push it? And then um, if I push it, and then what if, I don't know, my camera turns around. But what is this? This is like an eight millimeter thing right here. Where's the like button? I don't know where the like button. I don't got it, you all. What is this? This is something like a documentary. This is the first time I've ever noticed that. I didn't know we could do this. Okay, now this is important because if we can do this, now just think if you're outside and you want to do a live video and you need to change the filter, perhaps we can. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. This has inverted mode on it, you all. We can actually look at things in the inverted mode. Wow, that doesn't get any better than that. Look at this, you all. This is really cool. Mm, my lips are chapped, though. Look, I can, I'm can. i in the inverted mode. <laughs> it looked kind of funny, don't it? And this is me sketched. Oh, you all, I'm so glad I got on here and pushed this button. I really am glad. You know what this means? This means that when... um. When there's, there's clouds in the sky and they're doing all this kind of stuff and we're outside filming, I can invert that video without having to do it on my computer. We can see an inverted mode in real time, you all. Yeah, in real time. Look at all these filters. This is really cool. I love it. I think I do love it. Well, I don't love it, love it, love it, but it's pretty, it's really neat, you all. Did If you didn't know this, I just now realized it. This is, I'm gonna make my arm tired. Yeah, I got bubble head. <laughs> bubble head. I'm, the, the one thing I'm really excited about is the inverted mode. I'm really excited about that. And the black and white mode. Um, this is called the slate, the glow, the crush. I got a crush. You got a crush, you all. What do you call it a crush? Um, a pop. I don't look like I'm gonna pop. A blush. I, I don't think I'm blushing. A beam um, and normal. Isn't that wild? That is really cool. Now, how am I going to get rid of that? Let me see. There's some. There's three buttons down here at the bottom. What's this, you all? Um, I got live chat. There's three buttons at the bottom. I can save and highlight it. 
I can share this and I can mute the mute the convert. Okay, I got it. We got it. It's um let me see. Um it's clear that was a genuine response. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny you all that is funny wow i really am excited about the inverted mode real excited i'm so excited i think i want to go out there i want to um look at the sky and see if we can see anything in the inverted mode out here i really want to see what's out here in the inverted mode let me push it um let me let me push it and go to the inverted mode. This is so cool. You know what it's called? If they call the inverted mode, the haunting mode. But this is a not haunting. Okay. There, see, this is the inverted mode. Oh, what can we see? Can we see anything up here? Okay, no. This, I wonder if this is like night vision goggles, night vision stuff. Oh, wow, you all. Okay, that's it. Yeah, it, it might be spooky, but um, this is, they call it the haunt. This is, um, we got this going on, you all. Look at that. It's like we got the, we got the spaceship right up here above us, and it's like doing its twirling around on our head. That's pretty cool. We got a spaceship. That's, you think they did that? for the ufos do you you think they did that you all so people can get used to the ufos yeah the bubbles and this and nor and i'm normal photography models yeah you all if you have a youtube channel now you know that if you do a live video you can do something like that this is really kind of like news to me it really is news to me that's my engine that's me okay you all think i'm probably going to go I'm, I'm tired of playing i'm not tired of playing with the phone um but i've probably been on here too long it's been 32 minutes yeah it's um yeah this is pretty cool i love it i gotta i gotta get i gotta get awake you all that was exciting. That woke me up for a little bit. Yeah. Well, I, I don't really think that this right here is scary technology because um, in a lot of programs that they've had around for years and years and years, they have all these different types of filters. And the HD Movie Maker Pro, um, they have all those filters, but you can only do it on an individual picture. You can't do it in a video, which this is so exciting. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to do it when the sun's up in the sky and we got some clouds and stuff, you all. I'm going to I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try it. I don't even know how long it's been on this right here. That's right. We are family or we wouldn't even be connecting. That's right. All right. So uh, I'm going to go. And um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And um, thanks for tuning in. And um, give that video a thumbs up if you want. If you don't want to, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Um, that's right. Thank you all. Oh, Joseph, honey, you're so welcome. If, if Gina, honey, can lift somebody's mood, I will lift your mood. I will. If if all it takes if just to come on here, then it is worth it. It really is. Even just for one person. Even though I get shadow banned, I, I can do it. I can. I can stop what I'm doing, like working on that engine or doing messing with the car. That's right, you all. We can do it. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Susan B., honey. Love you all.